Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to write a C program to read a text file. So here in my terminal I have this two file. So the first one is a C file, the second one is a text file. So in a text file I have this text. So I want to read this text in my file.c C program. So let's go ahead and see what is there inside the file.c program. So inside file.c I have these two header directories stdio.h and stdlibrary.h Then I have a main function So inside a main function I have declared character variable ch file pointer fp Then I have used this function fopen So this will open this text file in read mode so if everything goes ok then file pointer will contain some value and if there is some error in opening the file then this file pointer will contain the null value so after opening a file I am checking what is the value stored in fp if the value stored in fp is null then it means the compiler was not able to read this text file so this fp will contain null value so I am using this check option out here to see if the value of fp is null if the value of fp is null then I'll print this error message and then I'll exit so if there was no error then this fp will contain some other value apart from null then in that case what I'm doing is I'm reading the first character using this command fgetc so it will read one character at a time from the file it reads the first character pointed by this file pointer and it stores that value in this character variable ch now here what I'm doing is the value that is stored in ch that I'm checking if it is equal to end of the file here in this text file end of the file means the last position out here so this will be denoted by slash zero so in this while loop what I'm doing is I'm checking the value of ch if the value of ch that is written by f get c is equal to end of the file which is backslash o then it will not enter this loop else it will enter this loop and print the value of ch at the end and every time after reading from the file the file pointers get incremented so so it gets incremented and at the end it points to the end of the file which is backslash 4 so after that when the end of the file is encountered the while loop terminates and then we close the file so this is the C program to read the text from the file so let's go ahead and run this program so after that I need to type dot slash a dot root so this was the text file so my program has read this text file and displayed the output out here so thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.